Hello, this is Kadon's Taiko Fundamentals. My name is Kaoru Watanabe. In this lesson, we are going to start using a metronome, applying all the techniques and all the billion bullet points that we've been going over the last two lessons uh, to rhythm, okay, to a very steady rhythm. We're gonna start building stamina, okay, using this metronome, uh, holding a simple rhythm for you know, a fairly long time in order to figure out the mechanics of what's going on while we are checking all the form issues that we were talking about, okay? So uh, again, use a mirror, use a metronome. Uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating what it's gonna look like. You could step away from the video for a while, use your metronome, watch yourself in the mirror, do that for a long time, uh, and then uh, come back, make sure you're hitting all the same points that, I'm, that I keep addressing, um, and we'll go from there. So this first exercise, I have the metronome at 50. Uh, I'm gonna have an accent on the downbeat of every four beats. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're in four, four, if, you, if for those of you who understand what that, about time signatures. Um, and we're just gonna be holding what are called eighth notes, okay? So two beats per click, okay? Don, 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 don. Very simple, and that's all we're gonna be doing for this first exercise, okay? Um, in other words, it's so simple that you don't have to think about the rhythm, you're just worrying about form, okay? So really uh, keep going back, ankles, hips, shoulders, ears, all in line, hitting the very center of the drum, arms should be relaxed, shoulders down, palms facing inward, not outward, not towards yourself, but palms facing each other, trying to hit the same height. Even though we're moving at a fairly, relatively fast tempo, you still wanna to try to hit those same points each time. Come all the way up here, not out here, not out here, not here, Okay, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Um, one thing to warn, I hadn't really mentioned in the first two lessons, uh, a lot of teachers uh, talk about the idea of a kind of a, a rotating motion, which again, a lot of great people that I, I respect and play with do this, where they would either come up and, and come in as they play, um, but for, for this technique, I want you to stay extended throughout, okay? So it's as if you're coming up here, and then on the way out down, you're also just staying down. We're, again, I mentioned unbendable arm earlier, uh, and we'll be going over that in depth in a few lessons, but for now, just think of it as if you're throwing your bachi away from you as you're coming down, not in and out, but away. This is something that uh, if you're not used to it, uh, you may think you're doing it, but you're not, <laughs> or um, it might be very difficult to adapt to that, if you, especially if you've been playing for a long time and you're used to bending the arms. But I really want you to think about keeping the arms as far away from your face as possible at any given point. Um, does that make sense? So not coming towards your face, but really staying away from your face throughout the entire strike. Okay, so that's kind of a new thing to think about. Um, it's in line with everything I've talked about in the last couple lessons, but it's, it's kind of a new um, verbalized element to watch out for. Okay, so here it is, metronome at 50, just doing eighth notes and holding that for a while, um, trying to check your form as we do it. Let's give it a try. Say, nope. How was that? Were you able to stay on the beat and check your form as we did it, keeping your arms consistent, same height, uh, not moving your hips as we played, 
keeping good posture. Um, and the longer you do it, we only did it for a relatively short time just now, but uh, as you get tired, of course, you're gonna start losing some of the form and stuff like that. So a lot of this is, is rep repetition, daily repetition, uh, and trying to ingrain this, these movements into your body. Okay, so we're gonna continue. It's fundamentally the same exercise that we just did. Uh, however, we're gonna start not with eighth notes, but with whole notes. Okay, so for those of you who don't understand or haven't studied Western music, whole notes uh, are when you hit one hit per four beats. Okay, so, um, and I mentioned the metronome is counting in 4-4, four, four, meaning an accent every four beats. Okay, so we're going to do whole notes for four measures, which means don, two, three, four, don, two, three, four, don, two, three, four, don, two, three, four. Okay, so that's whole notes. Next, we're gonna do half notes for four measures. Okay, I'll sing it kind of quickly so you get the idea. Don, two, don, four, don, two, don, 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 don. Okay, next quarter notes for four measures. Don, 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 times four. Okay, I think you get the idea. Eighth notes, don, 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 don. Sixteenth notes, doko, 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 doko. And then 30 second notes. Okay, and all these are going to happen for four measures. Okay, so this is, if you're not used to this kind of thing, it might be uh, kind of difficult to keep track of the, of the four measures, but this is very important to study anyway. And I'll be playing the whole time with you. Whole notes for four measures, uh, half notes for four measures, quarter notes, uh, 16th notes, 30 second notes, and then after 30 second notes, we're gonna go back to 16, 16 notes, back to eighth notes, quarter, half, whole. And then one set of uh, whole notes to end it off. Okay. I think you can do this, okay? It's a little, it might be tricky if, if, if this is kind of new for you, but um, things to watch out for, okay? The whole notes are pretty much the kind of thing that we've been doing, okay? Very slowly coming up and then very quickly coming down. Um, one thing that I, I haven't mentioned yet, which I really want you to think about now, is what I call the creep, okay? So we've come up one, two, three, four. What I call the creep is when the arm starts to come down before the hip. And this, uh, the creep sounds derogatory, but <laughs> it, it's not meaning to be, but um, if you're used to bending your arm for the hit, uh, it, it takes a fraction of a moment to bend and come back out, okay? So it's very natural to want to come up one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and start to come down before actually hitting, okay? So this kind of coming down before the hit is what I'm calling the creep. It's like you're creeping down before you're hitting. So what I like to do, one, two, three, four, pause for a moment, and then without any sort of forewarning, boom, this is gonna come right down very quickly. So there's no, there's no tensing up before the hit or creeping down before the hit, but it's from here down to here. In other words, as you listen to the metronome, you're waiting for the very last possible moment and then very quickly coming down. All right, got that? So. Uh, and and a, the simplest way to, to kind of understand what I'm talking about is watching and trying to match my movements, including the speed and timing of the upward stroke, and then when I actually start my downstroke. It'll be very fast. It'll be right before your, the actual sound is supposed to happen. Okay? So, whole notes. The half notes are going to be or twice as fast, obviously, but you're still going slowly up and then quickly down. Quarter notes, same thing. You're gonna have much less time to kind of prep, so your upward motion is gonna be still faster, however, it's still gonna be much slower than the downward motion. That's a very key point, okay? Slow up, fast down. Again, just watch my timing as you're playing along with me and you'll be able to see the difference between how you're doing it and how I'm doing it. Next, eighth notes. Now we're getting pretty fast. Um, 
I still think you can get all the way up to the original height, even though we're going to eighth notes, okay? So trying to really still be big at eighth notes, okay? Still the same form and everything. Sixteenth notes is twice as fast as eighth notes, obviously. So you're all of a sudden going from around don, 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 don to doko, 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 doko. It's quite a bit faster, okay? So your arms won't be able to come up as high. You'll see a very sudden drop from my arms from up here to about down here, okay? So we're going along, maybe not all the way down, but maybe shoulder height for sixteenth notes, okay? That's kind of a goal. And then by the time we get to 30 second notes, your arms are going to stay pretty low. Daga, 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 daga. It's going to be pretty fast. So your arms, your hands are kind of staying in one place as you're hitting these 30 second notes. Next, as we go back from 30 second to 16 notes, suddenly your arms are going to get suddenly much bigger. Okay, so from 30 second notes, suddenly to 16th notes. Okay? And then from 16th notes to 8th notes, suddenly you're going to get much bigger, okay? And I want that change to happen right away, okay? From uh, beat one of the next, of the, of the next um, note value, okay? Next, so eighth notes, we should be at full size, in other words. And then quarter notes, full size, of course. And then half notes, and then whole notes. Uh, especially as we speed up, uh, I'm sorry, start slowing down and going into the longer notes, really watch how I slow my arms down coming up. I want you to be very conscious of how slowly my arms come up. So whole notes, again, is a very slow come up. And what we're doing, the reason we're doing that is to really make sure that we're staying relaxed. Even after playing 30 second notes for a long time, you might be kind of tired. You want to be able to relax, get out of that, move, that mode, and, just, and, and really just try to relax and open it up. Ideally, you're staying relaxed even as you're playing 30 second notes, but um, especially at the beginning, you might start to tense up as you're holding the 30 second notes. And then another thing that we're, we're going for eventually is to not accent, okay? So we're hitting 30 second notes, you might have trouble lining them up with the metronome, and you might want to go, but I don't want you to do that. If you have to at the beginning, it's okay, but eventually you just want to have just a very even left and right. Okay, it should just sound like one volume. All right, so I did a lot of talking. Again, you could maybe take a lot of notes, um, but for now, just kind of try to follow along. Use me as a reference as you're, as you're doing this. See how high my arms are going, how slow they come up, how fast they come down. All the timing, not just of the actual hitting, but of the prep as well. Okay, let's give it a try. Three, four, and two, three, four, and three, four, and
Great. How was that? Were you able to make the adjustments and also keep track of how many, uh, where you were in the measure? Uh, it takes some time to get used to. Um, also, one very important skill that we're developing with this exercise is the ability to adjust. Okay, uh, I use the analogy of driving a car on a highway. If you're, if you, even if you're on a straight highway, you can't just let go of the wheel and expect to go straight, right? You have to make little minor adjustments as you're running along in order to stay on the trail, right? You don't make these big, sudden turns, right? So if you feel yourself rushing or slowing down, it's important to be able to quickly make those minor adjustments so you're back on course uh, and staying with the metronome. Uh, again, this takes a lot of time, and, and, and uh, our, we're not machines, right? But we're, in a way, we're training ourselves to be machines in these kind of exercises. Um, again, as you get more and more comfortable with the exercise, you can continue to check on your form, check on your uh, posture, make sure you're, you're moving to your full potential, you're hitting the center of the drum. Um, oftentimes, as it gets fast, it's hard to focus on hitting the center, and you might start getting off center, or one of your hands might start getting usually closer to yourself, uh, down the skin towards yourself. So try to really stay in the center of the drum, uh, even as you speed up, uh, get to the faster units, or as you get tired. Okay. Uh, so in the next lesson, we're going to start working on uh, more musical applications of all these techniques that we're working on. So I'll see you next time.